What's up guys, it is Chef 24-7 and welcome to Kitchen Talk Bad Brewers. Right now we're still going through some changes and we're still building these things up. So today we're going to have another special show for you. We're going to kick off with my girl Coco Kilo and Vic Stay Winning as they get a little juicy and steamy on their topic today. Ladies, it's something definitely you're going to want to watch. And fellas and fellow smokers, I'm going to be talking about the legalization of marijuana in Louisiana today on my segment. So y'all check it out, enjoy the music, enjoy all the fun, and we want to hear from y'all. So make sure y'all comment in those comment boxes. We definitely want to hear what you have to say. And as always, let's kick off the show with our welcome address as usual. So welcome to the kitchen where we set up a plate just for you. So sit back and enjoy the conversation and the knowledge that we're passing around because the goal of this show is to help you understand the world by understanding your world. So welcome to the Grown Ups Table. I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. And if you want to know more about us, y'all follow us here and also email us at kitchentalkfamily at gmail.com. All right, guys, enjoy the show. See y'all later. My girl Coco Kilo wants to get a little juicy with y'all. You know, I'm real juicy. Real juicy, they wait me. Drink. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, when I say that wait me, and I say that drink, drink, what do I mean, Victoria? Or oh, what could I mean? Uh, what do you mean, Coco Kilo? Because you're just puzzled. Puzzled? Well, I don't know, because I'm trying to see some cute with puzzle. So, <laughs> find a puzzle to fit your piece. Okay, I don't know. But we're going to talk about orgasms. Like, what's up? Are y'all getting them? Comment below, are you getting them? Are you, are, is it clitoral? Is it penetration wise? Like what do y'all do? What, what's going on? Have y'all had them? You know, what's up? I need you to pick up from there because I don't know. What <laughs> okay, so listen y'all. Okay, we're gonna talk about orgasms. We're gonna talk about, you know, they got different ones. How you get them, do you know what gets you there? Cause some ladies don't know what gets them there. True, I think that's why most people don't have them. I know. I know, but you know what? I think that women don't even know that they're supposed to be happy. Baby, <laughs> I don't know. You always searching. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a drug. <laughs> I guess it's like a drug. I think that they say that the endorphins in your mind. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so if you aren't happy, then like, well, let's just say, what's, what, do you know yourself? Do you know what you like? Do you know what you're into? And don't make other people feel like they're supposed to be into something that you're not into. My friend has always told me that there's certain ages, there's certain generations that do certain things. And at a certain point, you get to the point where you're not gonna do nothing what the other generations do. And that's okay. And it is fine. It, I think I think maybe overall, then it's really about like, like really knowing your inner self through all of this. You know, yeah. like in the in the intro, he talks about really knowing the world by knowing you. It talks. We talked about last week. We talked about uh, what was our topic? We just did it. We're recording on the same day. Um, <laughs> oh, business. Uh, starting a business, and then about that business is knowing what you want. Like, if you don't know the things that you want, like, how can you? I mean, that's where depression comes from, right? I'm not all of it, but I get it, y'all. We get all yeah, right. Yeah, we're not going to get too crazy with the person. We'll have another conversation. Yeah, that's another topic. Yeah. Okay, but. but as far as orgasms, though, I feel like people feel pressured to like what other people who want them to like or do other things that they hear that young people doing. Uh, I don't want to say the young people, but what they hear people talking about is the songs. <laughs> yeah. And that ain't true. Oh, that ain't true. Like, yeah. I just feel like, be you, like, sex, the best sex is confidence. Yes. Like, you got confidence. You probably could watch not somebody talk to somebody, so you ain't gonna have a little skill with us. <laughs> but more than likely, if you're confident, you're gonna give a little skill. Yes, you know? and if you are communi- communicating, communicating, yeah, communicating, if you are communicating, then you're gonna get what you need to get out of it also. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, with all of that said, well, I just, mm, never mind. Shit, sorry. This is this little, because we, we, But like, just like, not even just talking about orgasms, like as far as like when people do oral sex, right? I feel like when when people talk about oral sex and there's a female giving a guy oral sex, because that's most of what people talk about, Mm -hmm. I feel like people feel like they got to do what they see on a porn or whatever to be good. 
look, but you don't have to do that. You don't have to do it. <laughs> Making noise. <laughs> fucking killing yourself. You don't know, look at Yes, people do like those things, but I'm telling you, if you just put your, what you have to put into it, it's going to be good. It's, it's going to be perfect. perfect. Yeah. They, they fuck with you for a reason. Yeah, they ain't going to fuck with you on the horn. No. So if you use the horn, they probably going to fuck with you. You <laughs> Chicken outfit. Yeah, uh-uh. Not a chicken outfit. I think you want to talk about chicken. Hold on. It's a movie. Woo. I'm going to go on this one movie. Woo. Woo. Yeah. I'm going to go on the movie. Woo. Oh, girl. Uh, J.P. Yeah. yeah. I haven't seen that in a while. Chappelle had Regina Hall dressed like a chicken. Oh, uh, no. I'm not going to do it. Yeah, I'm not going to dress like a no chicken. I'm not dressing like a no chicken. Damn it, Lenny. What is a chicken hoe? But I just feel, I feel like you're doing a disservice when you categorize people in an entire like group. So when women are being categorized as like this is what sex is, this is what's going on, I feel like you know that you're doing a disservice because everybody's not the same. People are truly individualized, and like you said, going back to you, just really need to know yourself. Yeah. Like what do you like? And not to be like too explicit on here, but I feel like we. Just, we talk about stuff, but everybody kind of cries up. So, do you like your nipples pulled? <laughs> do you? I feel like. Do you like your hair pulled? Do you have your like, nipples pulled to say that like jacking off? Have your nipples like What is he doing like that? Yeah, I feel like jacking off. Interesting. I had never envisioned it like that, but okay. Because I don't know. I can see what you're saying. I'm too petty. That's really interesting. But, like, what do you like? Do you like spankings? <laughs> what are you into? Like. Do you just like to just play and be doted on? Cause that's classic. Yeah, pillow princesses, and it all comes in all versions. You don't have to be homosexual to be a pillow princess. Yeah, you, you can, can be a uh, heterosexual pillow princess. What's a pillow princess? So a pillow princess is somebody who just lays back and gets it done, like gets it all done to her. So in a lesbian relationship, she don't eat no pussy. Which you're not a real fucking lesbian, ho. But she don't eat pussy. She was chilling. Yeah, she chill. She's been up to her. 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 But you know what? That's a whole other topic for a whole other day because I ain't even. But you're not a lesbian. Stop it. You just like your pussy. Ate. And that's fine too. Oh, my mama do not be watching these. Not that she should be on YouTube anyway. But I just really thought about that. As I'm saying, all these Oh, as long as you are hard. This is the grown ups table. This is the grown ups Y'all know how long it took me to get to this bitch? And I'm talking about the grown ups table. I'm going to say everything. I'm going to be vulgar. But yeah, y'all, we so, you know, if you got, look, he got some, if y'all are talking about some woman issues. Yes! Like, let's talk about it. I won't get 
graphic up on here, but y'all know what we be issues from. Y'all know what we be having going on. I just feel like we do not talk about the women, the woman's body. Actually, on Twitter, again, y'all, y'all gotta follow me on Twitter. Maybe like put it up on this thing. But um, on Twitter, uh, they actually showed the inside of a woman's breast. It's like little, it looks like a flower. Okay. And like people are like, oh my god, of all these years I've taken biology and chemistry and all these classes, and like I've never seen the milk duds of a female. And it does look like a flower, but it also looks kind of itchy. It's not gross. It's just when you first see it, it's like all the little lines and stuff. But it's not a real one. So I wouldn't even want to imagine what that yeah. looks like. It's like a diaphragm when you don't know. But um, I forgot my whole point. It's talking about tennis. Yeah. This is talking <laughs> about women, the women being Oh, women, yeah. Being learning about it, being okay with your body. Being okay. So comment below. Let us know what y'all have going on. We'll respond, we'll talk, we'll have a chit chat, a kiki. Maybe we can even do like a group chat of women and we can just like do something supportive. We talk about the women, obviously. We love y'all, so. Shout out. Yeah. Hey, it's Coco Kilo. We'll be right back. I like it. What's time, man? We shooting this video for essays. Essays are rushing me every day. This movie coming the hardest. We don't know where your heart is. I don't do this for no audience. I do this for my artists. Why don't fuck with that fuck? Soft side shit. Whole shit, no whole shit. Essays arresting me every day. Social anxiety, focus inside. Expert harassing me every day. My wishes are graded. My bitches, my vision, the stencil, the vision, the pencil. Fundamental for the mental. Uh, essays arresting me every day. Haters ahead of me scared. They faded, I faded my dreads. Your bitches felt safe as my bed. I heard you cop with the beds. Uh, I don't talk to the dead. I just walk to the bed. Crack law for my head. In the dark and read my thoughts. On record to the ceiling. Serious bitches, she don't hear me. Essays arresting me every day. Southside bottom. LS billing is stealing this pace in me. I'm still in this state. Feel like I'm late when I wake for a bake in the kitchen. Cooking up, cooking up, crack. I've been busy. Taste drugs in the air, but getting mugged that ain't fair. Still talk booth in the buffet. Seven entrees of bruises. I'm the proof. Abuse the truth in the booth. You misuse me, no pity. Don't excuse me, I did it. Essays arresting me every day. Sweeping the pain away. The broom in my room. Four cans and all cans. Catch leaks to the roof. Fuck it. Double in the back with your confidence. You're incompetent. Your bitch hit the crack that a compliment. Why you want consequences? Cube it. Pressure. My two two black panthers trying to be sad to it to do it in the house in the south. The place is that the baby in my mouth, but trying to make it Boss talking my recipe, told my boss don't check for me I'm well off, I be well off, the breath I breathe huh? Post me on Craigslist, I work by the bird by the minute Me and Craig, we was winning, what you said, you pretending Long rows from the stoves, holding poles in the winter Was a beginner, now I'm a winner I'm a Aztec warrior I'm a warrior, warrior Audience, this for my artists, that music come the hardest You don't know what your heart is I'm well, pressure, I'm pressure, I'm pressure. I'm Essays and riches, essays and riches Cracking ignition, they itching with extra Essays and bitches, explicit my pleasure Obsessed with expressions, expressive Expressing myself, expensive Investing myself, fuck the buzz Picture them drugs, man, the health to my wealth and my love They piss what I did when I did when I did when I was left on the shelf What I did when I did when I dig the pad and pee in the mud Expenses expanding, catch up, we landing She said, Kayla, I can't credit your feelings They vanish, you damage, have me speak Spanish I got these bitches dancing, all in their mama and their kids speaking Spanglish. Mama Sita, crack in the stores, pop up, pop up, pop crack on the scoreboard. We can't afford her, absorbing this fortune, got me extorting my treasures now. Crackhead selling out 31st century, 21st century, who's all in the trenches? Some of us scribbling, some of us dribbling, chilling or trembling on essays or mistakes, dean some, reeling their dreams in, stakes in their foyer. I remember I could hear pistol clear, wooden floors, legs sore in the hallway. Now all day, I'm building movies, living ruthless in your hallways. LSU number three in your your hallways, Davis, we warrior. Essay harassing me with them cuffs, but you embarrassing me. Far she Laura protecting my deck, she be wrestling me. Tracing the face of the face in the lakes of my single. Green screen my lingo. Insta, she follow my jingle. We foreigners, Aztec warriors, stretching the stress away. Essays arresting me air day, this air day. Already we beefing this air day. Essays and sipping, tripping. I ripped it, forget it again, and I mention too serious. She bitches, she'll hit me, still clutching my six hole. Home down in checker. Call that Alexa. Why she be extra? 
Look, no lines till we top. Don't stop, we finna drop. 31st century shops for the blocks, we got them hot. Lovely products, crackheads and big eight socks. Dope fiends and lag blocks, codeine, lean red now. Nah. We mix green with bread now. Nah. Switch team, she scared now. Nah. Was bitten, she wet lock. My witness, my dreadlock. Essays and crack. She x rayed the fakes. She bad. I'm a warrior. Aztec warrior. I'm Aztec. Wear your mask at. Ha. 31st century crack. What's up guys, it's Chef 247. I am standing in for the fellas for this week. Um, so I'm gonna be doing a segment tonight. But next week, we got a treat. We got my boy, Mr. Mofo Shots, gonna be coming in, gonna be doing a segment with the Bad Rouge crew. And we have a new addition to the Bad Rouge crew, my boy T the Barber, AKA West Side Creeper. So y'all enjoy those guys next week. They will be here, get an in here. We gonna be having fun in the kitchen. But today, I'm going to be talking to y'all, so I got a basic topic I want to talk about tonight. Alright, so I'm in Louisiana, I'm driving, and I see a sign for legalizing marijuana. Now, I know this has been going on for quite a bit, they're trying to get this to go on. But, I would have thought we would have been the last state to do this, but there are very definite kind of people in the state, so it seems. But, now, things may change in Louisiana. And I'm kind of curious on how it makes things better and what can we do for those who it once made it bad for. You know, that's more about the concern. Like, the people who had charges prior to this for like having a dime bag of marijuana in their pocket or, you know what I'm saying? They just had, somebody had a bag in the car and all of the guys get booked for it. You know, what's gonna happen to those guys? Are those guys' records gonna be clear now? Are they gonna be bumped down in misdemeanors? Um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of curious about that. I'm kind of curious if there will be a limit to what people can have, or can you grow it, can you not grow it? These are a lot of questions that need to be asked. I mean, we can look at the other states, but each state is ran different. So, that kind of, State we ran, we ran different. Texas is ran different. You know, Mississippi is ran different. Like all these different states is ran different. So how would legalizing marijuana affect the way we live life already? Plus, how would it change the life we live? You know, would we still not be able to have a, you know, what if somebody bring their smoke to their job and get in trouble more? Would it even still be considered a narcotic? You know, just, Something, something that kind of bothers my mind real quick. And just speaking of which, on the legalizing of marijuana in the state of Colorado right now, they're trying to legalize some hallucinogenic mushrooms. Now that's a whole nother level, but I'm kind of curious, would this be a start of a trend to just legalize everything so it can be controlled? Because think about it, all of this sounds good right now, but ultimately it's all under some type of government control. And I know how some of y'all guys feel about that out there, so, you know, what are you going to do then? You know, I'm, I'm kind of excited for the change, but at the same time, I'm worried for the change because I'm, I'm, I want us to be able to handle the change. I want us to be able to, to make changes, make laws, and try to be productive on these laws, but we'll find out. I mean, there's even a new law that's being passed around out right now that helps people with a past record who stayed out of trouble, you know, became model citizens, doing something with their life, and then go back to jail. There's an opportunity for them to get their voting rights back. And I'm excited about that too because it gives people a voice. You can believe you vote in the county or you can believe you vote in the do. It's up to you. It's for you to decide. I'm not, I don't really debate those things. But, it gives those people the opportunity that want to vote and can't vote or couldn't vote at one point the opportunity to get their rights back, the opportunity to be considered a citizen or be considered something less than a criminal or a public guy. So, I'm kind of curious about that as well. 
So, like I said, I wasn't going to do that long. I just wanted to talk about this for a little bit. I definitely want to hear what you have to say. That's the most important thing. And if you got something to say, make sure you comment in the comment box. Or you can send us an email at kitchentalkfamily at gmail.com or 724chef at gmail.com. Hit me up. I want to hear your comments. How do you feel about these new laws, the changes that's going on, and the actual legalizing of marijuana in all places in Louisiana? Oh man, you know Marty Girl is going to be extra turned up. Thank you guys for tuning in. Before we wrap up the show, how about y'all enjoy one more song when I will use the break? This is Super L Track. Get, 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 I got the bills getting gum still going. I got my mama on my back and still going. I got my baby mom screaming still going. I got a job on my back and still going. The government shutting down I'm still going. They ain't giving food stamps I'm still going. I'm on my road all day I'm still going. Even though when I'm tired I'm still going. Feel me? Yeah. What you think we out here? People man screaming trying to feel us out here. Yeah. We in the club with our cups in the air yeah. People real mad and they really don't care yeah. You ain't giving food stamp, you shut the government down yeah. Everybody in the world about to act a clown yeah. This is going down when we trust the man God yeah. Everywhere yeah. we go we yeah. ain't yeah. believe the man God yeah. yeah. We standing for something man, we gotta stand firm Woo. You thinking I'm playing in the hood, man burn yeah. People so concerned trying to make it on the job Woo. You want us to work, but then you hurting us on the job yeah. Now tell me what's real, we will want to know the facts. Everybody say they real, but they ain't got our back. Yeah. We about to start a war, but yeah. we about to get real. Yeah. So yeah. open up your eyes, man. Yeah. Tell me what you feel. I got yeah. jobs, now I'm paying, I'm still going. Yeah. I got my homies in the hood, yeah. nigga, going. Yeah. I got my people on my back, I'm still going. Yeah. I got the bills, keep them coming, still going. Oh, yeah. I don't care what you say, I'm still going. Yeah. They can hate on me, I'm still going. Yeah. Everybody in the feelings It seems like they wanna treat you like a villain All that hate and pain, boy, you try to conceal it Ain't got time to play, boy, you gotta let them feel it I don't know, so the only way you get some healing A lot of people talking, man, be going to them buildings I feel and I get no understanding But you know, man, it's hard to find the commandments Cause ain't nobody perfect, yeah, we give it to the Lord Cause where would we be if it wasn't for our God? But we telling y'all, man, we gotta keep going Cause it don't matter what you do, the Lord is all knowing yeah, yeah. I'm talking about all through the struggles yeah. I'm telling man, it don't matter you in no troubles yeah. And everybody, yeah. I know you can call on I'm yeah. feeling you that one, G-Boy You don't even need a phone You see, yeah. so much going on, man People catching yeah. hell, like yeah. So much going yeah. on, man yeah. A lot of yeah. trouble, so yeah. People yeah. going to yeah. hell, like A lot of people yeah. getting in yeah. trouble yeah. Everybody yeah. trying to start again the world Hey, oh, hey, yeah. remember yeah. trying to get together, like yeah. Do what you gotta yeah. do, yeah. and we ain't gonna, gonna stop, stop. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, don't change it, yeah. yeah. do what you gotta yeah. do, huh? Get down, get on your knees and start praising every day. Mm-hmm. Ten minutes or less. Peace.